YouTube crew, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Now, today is a huge day for Rebirth Island players as Raven Software finally gave us Iron Trials on Rebirth Island. I got an opportunity to play it for a while and it is a ton of fun, but it is totally different than what we're used to. So I'm gonna be giving you some insight into what's different and some things that you need to keep in mind. Let's jump into it. So let's go ahead and start off by talking about the playlist that they actually gave us. And they gave us Iron Trials Rebirth Island duos. That is the only option for playing Iron Trials right now. But what about our normal research? Resurgence playlist, the normal game mode that we all know and love. You still have the option to play Rebirth, Resurgence, Duos, Trios, or Quads. So there are a lot of options right now in terms of what we can play. We can play our traditional game mode in Duos, Trios, or Quads, or we can drop into Iron Trials, Duos. For me, it's probably going to be a split of both. I had a ton of fun playing Iron Trials, though. It's a totally different game mode. And let's jump into specific differences now. The first thing is going to be your health. Normal base health in Rebirth is 100, and then you have three plates on top of that, making your total health 250. Well, the base health for Iron Trials is 250, and then you have three plates on top of that. So your total health in Iron Trials is actually 400. And when you really look at it, your base health in Iron Trials is the same as being fully plated in Rebirth. So it is a totally different game mode. The TTK is drastically increased. You got to play a little bit smarter. You can't exactly just full send everybody. But to my more advanced players, the good thing to note is that you're not just going to get fried in the back and basically have no idea where it came from. You have a little bit more time to react. Now let's talk about dropping in because this is absolutely crucial to know. This is where our Rebirth game mode goes out of the window. The Resurgence game mode goes out of the window, and simply we're playing basically Warzone on Rebirth Island. When you drop in, first of all, you get no self-revive. So just keep that in mind that wherever you drop, you got to be a little bit smarter because you do not have self-revive if you go down. Your teammate has to revive you. That's the only option. The second is going to be that you do not have minimap pings, right? So we are so used to, you get a down, you get a thirst, you check the minimap for pings. That is no longer the case. You do not get minimap pings in this game mode. It's more like normal Warzone where you got to rely on basically your audio cues, heartbeat sensor, information, whatever it may be, to figure out where people are. Now, let's talk about as you drop in, you know, you drop hot, you don't have self-revive, and you die. Well, in this case, or you die later in the game, you actually go to Gulag. You go to the Rebirth Island Gulag and fight in your normal one-on-one -on -one situation there. If you win, you come back with the gun that you killed the person with. So in one case, I had a Bren. I was able to win, and I come back in with a Bren. So you actually have a fighting chance to, you know, take some people out and regain a little bit. Now, if you lose, there is no resurgence timer. It is simply your teammate now has to buy you back, which costs $4,000. The pace on Rebirth is a lot better. Part of my issue with Caldera is just the fact that the pace of play is slower. You know, you drop in, you die, you lose Gouge, and you're sitting around for 5 to 10 minutes waiting for your teammate to buy you back. I noticed that wasn't a huge issue with this game mode right here. It was pretty easy to regain and get my teammate back if I needed to, whether it was a contract, just finding cash, or even just picking up a kill and then regaining from there. Now, before I jump into the biggest changes with this game mode, I'm doing a video tomorrow on tips for Iron Trials Rebirth Island Duos. I'm going to play a bunch tonight, figure out a few good tips to give you to be more successful, and I'll post that video tomorrow. So if you want to know when it goes live, make sure you are subscribed down below with that notification bell turned on. I also do videos every single day just trying to help people get better Rebirth. Now, the first major change is going to be loadout drops. There are no free loadout drops in Iron Trials Rebirth Island Duos. No free loadout. So you have two options. You either have to collect 10 grand in cash to buy it, or you have to just fight with floor loot guns. Now, floor loot is pretty much the same as it was before. There's the well gun. There's a bunch of good ARs and LMGs on the ground. But just keep that in mind that, you know, the only way to get loadout is to get $10,000. The other thing, as I mentioned, it's not $7,500. It is $10,000 now. So it is much, much harder to get loadout. And you want to kind of be a little bit more strategic because there is no, you know, dropping back in on loadout over and over and over again. You buy loadout for ten grand, you get it, you die, you go to Gulag. You don't fly back in with your loadout, nor can you land on your loadout again. So you just want to be keeping that in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is just kind of two things with the health concern. I haven't tested it out yet. Again, I will tell you tomorrow in my video. I think Quick Fix is going to be a 
huge, huge perk one, because as soon as you get a kill, your health is going to regen. Just a reminder that your health is 250, which means your health is the same as being fully plated in normal rebirth. Quick fix allows that to regen faster. The other one that is very popular in iron trials is going to be stims. Same reason, let your health regen faster. Just a few other things that I want you to note here. Buying your teammate back is 4,000. UAVs are still $6,000. The other one that I just want to point out to you is that armor bundles are a little bit more expensive. They're only, they're 2K now as opposed to 1500, but just keep that in mind. Now, the last thing is when you win, you get a pretty unique calling card. I found it online, so I'm going to post it right here. It's just kind of a little, little reward for getting a win. I haven't picked up my first win yet, but I will be doing that tonight. So go enjoy it. Go try it out. At the end of the day, if you don't like it, there's a pretty increased skill gap here because of the increased TTK. It's definitely going to be a little bit tougher. If you don't enjoy it, you can always fall back and go right back to Rebirth Resurgence. Hope you found today's video helpful. Subscribe down below for daily Rebirth content. Let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.